I'm Lolo and you are watching my new channel Lolo's Lowdown. Uh, so thank you for watching and if you do like what you see please do subscribe below. Um, I am a blogger, I've been blogging for a number of years um, but I've mainly been blogging about bridal stuff so I do have a popular blog and a popular um, vlog called showthebride.com so if you are a bride-to-be or you're a member of the bridal party please do look for that channel, look for that Instagram and follow. Um, Lolo's Lowdown though will be something completely different. It's just a different outlet for me to talk to you about hot topics, celebrity goss, fashion, things that I find interesting away from my bridal, bridal career. Um, so a little bit about me, I guess during the day I actually work in the city, I work for a bank um, in financial services and outside of work I blog. Um, so I've got Lolo's Lowdown and I've also got Show the Bride and this year I will be doing a lot more bridal stuff but I'll also be doing a lot of Lowdown stuff as well. So for my first vlog, um, which I hope you guys do enjoy and if you do enjoy please subscribe, encourage your friends to subscribe and give me feedback below. Um, but I thought that I would just talk to you guys about something that comes up quite a lot in social media um, and comes up quite a lot actually in my friendship groups. So I'm going to talk to you guys today about dating and dating etiquette. So I by no means want to speak for all women, but I'm definitely going to give you my opinion as a female who has experienced dating in the UK, particularly the London scene, um, and just let you know what I, what I think about it. So um, definitely there's a number of apps now that people are using. I personally just prefer the good old fashioned, you've met somebody, get to know them through friends or whatever. Um, but obviously a lot of people now are meeting people online. Um, that's not even what I'm going to speak to you about today because if I'm honest, I couldn't care less how people meet each other. If you've met, you enjoy, you like each other, great. Because nowadays it's so rare to actually meet someone who you can connect with. Um, you can meet someone who's attractive, but you might not connect on a mental level, emotional level. There's loads of reasons why you might not, there might not be any longevity in it. So I personally think if you found that person and you click and it's great, who cares how you met? Okay, so um, okay, so I'll just quickly tell you just what I want to talk to you about, basically. So the topic I want to talk to you about today is who should pay for the first date? Controversial, um, but I'll tell you my views and why I think what I think. Okay, so I would say I'm a 30-year-old woman. Not that, you, not that age matters, but I'm giving you some context as to why I think what I think. I'm 30, I own my own property, I work full time, and I care about where I'm going, I care about my ambition. So therefore, if I'm going on a date, I don't necessarily think about, I wonder if this guy's going to pay, because I kind of think we're all on the same level, and it's just, for me, it's just polite, and it kind of shows that a guy's actually into me if he paid, because I don't know, I think if he didn't, I'd just assume that maybe he, it wasn't that great a date and we're now in the friend zone. That's generally what I would think about it. Okay, so I, I, I actually see both sides. I think that um, a lot of like my guy friends have said that if they go on a date with a girl, obviously one, one, one thing they do say is dating is expensive, isn't it? So you book to go for dinner, you book to go for drinks, it all adds up. So therefore, it's a lot easier if it is that you just split the bill. I get this, but I also think that if you really like a girl, then you would offer to pay for that date. Now, what I would say is I do offer to pay for a date. It's not, not pay for it, but if I do offer to split the bill. But even though I offer to split the bill, if a guy said, yeah, let's split it, I would just think, okay, maybe he sees me as a friend. That is just my personal thing because I think that if I, as a female, could pay for that dinner, it's a bit weird in my mind if the guy didn't. So before you all jump up and down, it's got nothing to do with how mon much money he's got. For me, it's everything to do with, with effort. So, you know, my background is my parents are both from West Africa. I think my mum would have been shocked if once upon a time my dad asked her to split the bill. That's just a reality. That is the culture I come from. Um, but I don't even think it's just African culture. Like, I, I, you know, I've been on dates before. Like, you know, last year, for example, I, I was dating and I'd go on dates and there'd be some guys that won't even allow you to even bring out 
your card held or your purse to pay because like they'll find it insulting and there'll be others that just say like don't worry like you maybe you can get the drinks next time or something like that so I never actually I've never actually walked into a date situation thinking oh I wonder who's going to pay the bill or if he's going to ask me because it's not something if I'm really honest that's come up in my personal experience that much which is why when I see it on social media it's weird to me that it's a thing because I'm just like most guys would offer to pay but I do get it because I've heard you know, some guys say that there's a certain attitude that some girls have and it's a kind of, they're expecting you to pay. Now, I don't really know what that looks like, but apparently there is a kind of attitude that's kind of like, oh, well, you know, the date's over and you better pay. So I think if that's happening, that's wrong and it's not very polite. So I personally always offer to split it, but all I'm saying is that if you accept my offer and you say let's split it, I'm going to assume it's friend zone. So therefore, I'm not really thinking that you and I potentially are going to be dating much after that, okay? That doesn't mean I wouldn't date you. I'm just saying already, it's already made me think we're in friend zone, you know? That's just the reality of it. I also think as well, like for some of us females, it's really difficult to, to get a sense for a guy that actually is interested in you and not just the way you look or he's not just being a player. Do, do you know what I mean? So therefore, if he kind of makes an effort to even plan the date, because I think it's really important that guys actually make an effort to kind of think, I wonder where this girl would like to go. I wonder what we should do together. I think it's quite lazy when a guy says, oh, let's just meet up and decide on the day. No, I'm not going to leave my house and just decide on the day. You know, I think at least if you said, we're going to go for lunch, but maybe we're going to figure it out on the day where we're going to go. Fine. But I think the first few dates, make an effort. Do you know what I mean? Especially if you're on dating apps, because there'll be loads of different people that are messaging you and talking to you. So you're going to notice the people who actually make an effort. That's just a reality. You could be a psycho for all I know, especially if I've met you online. I'm not going to just turn up and let's see. I need to know the location so I can share my location with my friends. And in case you're a psycho, my friends can come and rescue me. That's just, again, me being honest. <laughs> I think as well, sometimes it's confusing for both parties. So guys sometimes say that it's really off-putting when a woman's kind of like, I'm really independent. I don't need anybody to look after me. I don't, want a, I don't need a guy. I might want a guy, all that sort of stuff. So sometimes it's confusing because actually I think that if a girl insists on paying too much, a guy might not like that. He might think, does this girl think I can't pay? And nobody wants to be in that situation. I personally just think if I've met you, okay, it's different if you've met online, okay, but if I've met you and I've agreed to go on a date, okay, I kind of am seeing us both on an equal, equal footing, it's a first date, we're getting to know each other. So of course, I will, when the bill comes, I'll offer to split it. But that's my point. My point is, I personally think the kind of guy that I go for, that I'm attracted to, is a guy who leads and takes charge. So if a guy said, no, it's fine, I've got it covered, that doesn't necessarily mean I expect you for every time we go out to pay. But I don't know, I, I just leave that date feeling special and I feel like I had a great day and it was fine. Do you know what I mean? I, I just think that... If suddenly it just went to uh, let's split it, I'd think, wow, oh, you know, I've, I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> maybe, maybe for him, this wasn't a great day. And I'd think that I've been friend zoned. That's just the reality of it. So that's why when my friend, my, my guy friends go on and on about this, I try to give them this view because I don't think I'm someone who goes out there expecting to be catered for, expected to be paid for but I'm just saying that my experience has been that I would think oh okay I don't think this guy's that into me you know I could be wrong but that's just you know how I take it and what I think in fact the only time I've ever really insisted like when I say insisted as in like practically threw my card at the card machine was when I've not enjoyed the date and I def therefore definitely want the guy to think this was a friend zone, you know? Because what I would never do is be one of those girls who just keeps going on dates with guys, accepting free dinner. I mean, go and eat at home, girls. This is just, I hear these stories all the time and it's disgusting. Like, I'd be so embarrassed if if I had a name for just going on dates to feed myself. Like, do you not have any friends you could do that with? Is, is it that deep to get free dinner? Like, no. So for me, the only time I would really insist on paying 
is if I knew that I didn't see the guy that way and I didn't want him to think there was anything else that could potentially happen with us. Do you catch my drift? So because I think like that, that is why for me, if a guy said, let us split it, without me even offering, if he said, let's split it, then yes, of course, I'm sorry. I'm going to think, oh my God, I've been friend zoned. And I'd probably actually be too embarrassed to talk to him again. I don't know. Um, so that's my take on it. And I've tried to give you a bit of context from where I'm coming from. Because for me, it's never that I can't pay. It is just that I personally think it's polite for a guy to offer. It makes me feel special. I feel like it's been a great day. If it's been a shit day and we both didn't enjoy it, then yes, say, let's split the bill. I'm not going to have any grudges. I'd split it because I know it wasn't a great day. And we probably won't see each other again. And that's fine. I mean, if we're being honest, most first dates are not too expensive. So therefore, there shouldn't really be a deb debate as to who is paying for what. I think if there is that debate that early on, you probably actually just aren't the right people for each other. Let's just be really, really honest. Because I think if you actually went on a date, you had a great time, if you're each other's kind of people, you won't be worried about that. It's just like sometimes you might go on a really big group outing and there'll be some people that are literally like mathematicians at the end of the, at, at the, end of the bill. If you're not used to that, it's going to annoy you. So you probably aren't going to end up getting into a relationship with someone who does that if that's the sort of stuff that annoys you. So actually, as much as it shouldn't matter, I do think look out for those things because I've been with someone, uh, well, not been with someone, but I've had a friend who has told me that one of the reasons why they've broken up with someone is because that person was too stingy. So I actually think that you should look out for things like that. I'm quite a generous person, so therefore, I know I could pay for that date. So if you're a bit weird in the beginning with that sort of stuff, no, it's just too much hassle because I just feel like to me, it shows you're a bit uptight. We're probably not going to be able to do very much because you're not going to want to pay for anything. And then you might even get funny even when I offer to pay because you still don't want to pay for anything. So it really depends on your character. But I just think first impressions, that's probably what I'd be thinking for that first impression. So I think just um, to finish, because I think one thing that people don't really think about is safety as well on dates. So, yeah, as I was saying, you know, for me personally, if I'm going on a date with someone who, regardless of whether we've met, um, you know, it's a date, we're still getting to know each other. So I will say that, yes, I'm definitely going to be sharing my location with my friends because I'm going to feel safe. Um, so it does help if the guy plans the first date as a girl, you know, sometimes a guy might say, oh, where do you want to go? And you could suggest somewhere or you could suggest where you want to meet. I find it really weird if a guy tries to, um, and it hasn't necessarily happened to me recently, but it has happened to friends where a guy tries to kind of make you meet him in the area he lives in, or especially if there's like a middle ground you could meet, but he doesn't really want to do that. I find that weird. I also find it a little bit lazy when a guy says, oh, you choose. Um, I've dated somebody before who made lots of effort for the first date, which was really, really nice. But then every other date, it was really unorganised. And he was always like, oh, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Which at first I thought was just him being considerate. Then I realised, no, it was just being lazy. So I push it back and say, well, you were supposed to be organising it. So what did you think I want to do? What do you want to do? Um, and, you know, he kind of realised, oh, shit, like, she notices that that's what I'm doing. It's just not a good first impression. Like, stop it, you know? Um, I also feel like because everybody works, everybody's so busy, it's not even like you get to see your friends every single day. So if you're going to, you know, give up your evening, just make some effort. Let's actually have fun. Let's do something. But definitely, I do believe in the whole sharing your location um, because I think as a female, you just feel a bit safer when that happens. Sorry, I'm just fidgeting. Um... I actually went for drinks a few weeks ago and there was a couple um, at the end of our table and I just knew they were on a first date um, and unfortunately I was with a, a group of people like my partner, his friends, my friends and we were making so much noise and I did feel really bad because I thought this couple are definitely on a first date and my mistake is I went into the bar, I came back and I accidentally sat on this girl's bag um, so anyway, when I was apologising to her, we started chatting. She's really, really lovely. And then I, I said to her, I was like, "You are you guys a couple? And she said, oh, we're on our first date. And I said, I thought so. And I said, um, is everything okay? Are you enjoying it? And she was like, yeah, 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 so far, so good. So I was like, okay, let me know. And straight away, my best friend leaned over and said, 
if you're not enjoying it, if you don't feel comfortable, let us know. We'll call you. We can make any excuse you want to leave, you know. And she was really, like, grateful for that. And that is just, like, it's not even being shady. It's just about being safe. Because sometimes you might not be enjoying the date and you don't know how to leave. I've been on a date before where, uh, again, the, the guy just, oh, it was, it's a worst date. It was so poorly planned. He'd said we were going for dinner and drinks. We were going to go for dinner and drinks, um... Not too far from where I work, so we were going to meet near the Shard and all this stuff. Anyway, he then said he was early and he was at the place, so he sent me the location. You know, I'm on my way there. You know, I even bumped into a friend's partner and he was like, oh, you know, you look nice, you're going on a date. And I said, yes, I am, I'm going to this place. And we both said, sounded familiar, but didn't really know where it was. Anyway, I've got to the Shard, put on like, you know, um, my Google Maps and it's a good, like maybe eight, ten minute walk from there. So I'm like messaging him, like I'm running a bit late, blah, 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 blah. God, I can't even believe I'm telling you guys this. I'm telling you guys this because it's not the life I live and therefore I cut it short very quickly. But essentially, I, I got to this place and it was a pub slash hostel. You know, I don't even know if I need to continue. Like I said before, I work full time. I work in financial services. I don't get to see my friends that often. So if I'm going to give up my evening, just make a bit of effort, guys. So I got there to meet this guy and already I was thinking, oh, I don't really think he's my type, you know, because we'd met online. And in the flesh, I just didn't think he was really for me. Anyway, got there, met him, said I was sorry for being like five minutes late because I thought we were closer to London Bridge than we were and I'd got a bit lost on the, on the way. And then he said something like, oh, that's fine. And he was like, oh, you know, really sorry. The kitchen in this place is closed. <sighs> So I thought to myself, wow, so you're really being serious with this. You thought we were going to come and eat here in the hostel. I just think, guys, and this is not even being a snob. I personally just think at 30 years old, no. That's not what I want to do for my first date at 30. Start as you mean to go on. I don't want to eat in the in the hostel. I didn't even really be in the hostel. It smelled like... It smelled like, you know, when you're on a student night out and it stinks of vomit and urine. That's what it smelled like. No, I won't be eating there. So I already knew I didn't want to stay. So I made my excuses and um, I said I could only stay for one drink because I had a migraine. Um, he insisted, insisted that I had to stay. I was like, no. And again, that was a date that I insisted on paying because I, I wanted it to be clear that nothing more will come out of, out of this date. Um... Yeah, so I made my excuses. It was very awkward because he clearly knew that there's nothing wrong with me. But I said, I'm really sorry. I can only stay for one. And then I went about my way. And guess what, babes? I split that bill. So I personally think as a person, I'm consistent and I'm true with what I'm saying. I will split that bill forcefully if I want it to be known there's nothing to come out of this date. I don't even really want to date you on that level, but we can stay in touch if needed. But I made it very clear it was friend zone, so I split that bill. Had we been somewhere amazing, we were attracted to each other, chemistry was crazy, and I had a fantastic night and thought, I want to see this guy again, and then he said split the bill, I'd have left that date thinking, shit, he doesn't want to see me again. But I don't know, you tell me, guys, what, what's, your, what's your dating experience? When was the last time we went on a date? When you did go on that date, did the guy ask you to split it? Did you offer... You know, what What do you think? I could be completely wrong. I'm just sharing with you my own personal experiences and my personal opinions on it. But you guys, let me know below what you think. And let's chat about it. Let's discuss it. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please subscribe um, at the bottom to Lolo's Lowdown. Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram page is Lolo underscore Lowdown. L-O-L-O -O underscore Lowdown. Um, and yeah, just keep in touch. Let's see where we get to with this and subscribe below. Thanks, guys. I've enjoyed this session and I look forward to speaking to you all again soon. Take care.